Greetings everyone and welcome to Coffee Black, where the Voyager adventures continue on YouTube. I'm your host, Captain G, and this is the channel where you get your refill of everything Star Trek Voyager related, from trivia, news, reviews, and more. So before I talk about today's topic, I'd like to encourage new viewers to subscribe to the channel, also check us out on X, formerly known as Twitter, and visit our Facebook page for more Voyager content. This video will be my breakdown for Star Trek Prodigy Season 2, Episode 13, A Triple Called Quest, Computer Access File 13, Episode Alpha, and Enhanced View Screen. The episode starts with Rock narrating about the birth of a star. Hollow Janeway has discovered an M-Class planet that has the bosonite needed to help them create a star, so the protostar beams the cadets and Chakotay down to the planet. The crew notice the weird, unnatural state of the planet, and Rock discovers a Tribble, a creature first introduced in the original series episode Trouble with Tribbles. Unlike the Tribbles in the original series, though, these Tribbles are much more active, and Rock learns the hard way that they even have teeth. The Tribbles run away and gravitate towards a massive Tribble, unlike anything any of the crew has seen before. They run from the giant rolling Tribble, and Murph manages to stretch over and under a cliff, allowing passage for most of the crew except Zero, who was rolled over by the giant Tribble, and Dow, who fell over the cliff but was caught by Murph. Everyone survives the encounter, and Chakotay has Jangum and Zero transport back to the ship. After they beam out, a white Klingon appears from the shadows, warning them to leave the planet or they will die. The crew follow the Klingon to his ship, which he decloaks and invites them on board. The Klingon reveals he is a scientist, Dr. Kruva, and that he was tasked by Chancellor Martok with finding a way to defeat their ancient blood enemy by stopping the Tribbles from rapidly reproducing. Martok, of course, was a fan-favorite Klingon who appeared on Deep Space Nine and became the new Chancellor after Gowron was slain by Worf. It's revealed that the Klingon's experiments are what caused the Tribbles to be stronger, faster, larger, and have teeth. Rock looks at his data and believes she knows how to help him. She also suggests using a retrovirus that would infect the entire triple population. Michelle reminds everyone that their primary goal should be extracting the bosonite, but Kruva laughs and points out that the deposit they are after is at the heart of a giant triple nest. Rock says the nest would be the perfect place for the retrovirus, but Chakotay is cautious and asks the cadets how reliable Rock's skills are. Dow references an episode from Season 1 where Rock prevented a core breach and rebuilt Hologram Janeway from scratch, as proof of Rock's competence. Chakotay gives Rock the okay to create the virus. While setting up the lab, Rock begins to sneeze and unknowingly contaminates one of her Petri dishes. Back on the protostar, Hollow Janeway examines Zero and confirms that their body is degrading and won't be able to heal. Jangum offers to help Zero by creating something for them. Back on the planet, Gwen and Majel take a break outside and bond over the fact that life isn't always logical. Their conversation is disrupted by screams as the cadets attempt to catch a triple. Dal eventually catches it, revealing that it isn't a triple, but some type of hybrid accidentally created by Rock. Elsewhere on the ship, Chakotay unloads bags of quadrotriticale grain that's intended to have the virus. This exact grain was devoured by Tribbles in the original series episode Trouble with Tribbles. The cadets find the creature to be very cute, but Rock only sees a reminder of her making a mistake. Dal names the creature Bribble. The crew unload the grain and the Tribbles leave the nest and begin eating it. Gwen and Dal set transporter enhancers around the Bolanite in the nest and Hollow Janeway prepares to beam it aboard. The Tribbles begin to return to the nest after eating all the grain, and as they enter the cave, they end up destroying the pylons, preventing the transport. The rest of the crew enter the nest, attempting to rescue Dal and Gwen by firing their phasers, which have little effect on the overly sized Tribbles. Kruva wants to fire on the Bolvanite to create an explosion to kill the Tribbles, seeing it as a glorious way for himself to die and maintain his honor. The cadets fight with him and confiscate his weapon. Just as the Tribbles are surrounding the cadets, Bribble jumps to their defense and communicates with the Tribbles. The Tribbles stop and back away from the group, leaving them in peace. In the end of their adventure, Kruva is able to leave with his honor intact because Rock's virus eventually did work, and the crew took the Bolanite back to the protostar and together they watch as a star is born. Chakotay has hologram Janeway set a course for Voyager, 
And Chakotay says to set a course for home. And there you have it. That is my breakdown and list of Easter eggs for this episode. Overall, this was a cute episode, but a little less serious than previous episodes. Compared to episodes 1 through 12, this felt more like an episode targeted for kids, I have to admit. My ranking for this episode will be 6 coffees out of 10. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please hit the like button to help support the channel. This will definitely help boost our channel's algorithms and increased viewership. I'll see you guys in the next breakdown episode. Everyone take care, live long and prosper.